you doing everybody? Big Frogs 4x4 back here for another video. I'm revisiting the hill climb that everybody wanted me to come back and do some videos on. I'm currently sitting at 20 degree angle. I came up the hill, I came to a point where I purposely made sure the tires would lose traction. I'm in four wheel drive, low range, with no lockers. I'm, I'm only demonstrating if airing down the tires will help with the traction when I'm already stuck at a point on the hill. I bring the camera around here so you can see. I'm currently sitting at 20 degrees, off-road mode on, traction control is off, no lockers. So I'm going to set the camera up on top of the hill. I'll try to climb the hill. Tires will just spin. Then I'm going to come out. I'm going to lower the air pressure in the tires. And then we'll reshoot the video and see if the air pressure being dropped will help us climb up the hill. So does airing down your tires really help? And at what air pressure should you set them at? I'm going to go down to 20 pounds first and then drop down to 15 pounds and see if it makes any difference if I can't get up the hill at 20 pounds. Alright, this is forward wheel drive, low range, no lockers, full 33-34 PSI in the tires. As our current air pressures. What do you notice here? It's kind of rutted and the hill gets a lot steeper right here. So it has to work more to get up over this hump. Let's give it a shot. Tires are at about 20 pounds. The left rear tire is at 16. Starting to break traction again. Hostess is going to start to kick in. I'll lower them down to, let's say, try to get between 10 and 15 pounds on all four corners and see if it loses traction again. Now, in case you don't know, what lowering the air pressure does is greaten the amount of ground that your tire touches. You have more traction. You're lowering your air pressure down, and it's putting more surface of the tire on the terrain, on the ground, on the rocks, or whatever. Plus, it allows the tire to wrap around the terrain that you're driving up. So, if you're going over rocks, it can wrap around the rock. If you're going dirt, it can put more tread in the dirt, sand, snow, or whatever it is. So, it has more surface area to get more traction. Also keep in mind, if you're airing down your tires, which is highly recommended for off-road, you're going to lose ground clearance. You get to compensate the trails that you run and watch what you're running and driving over if you're doing rock crawling. Make sure that you're keeping the rocks, the larger rocks, under your tires so they don't hit the underside of the vehicle. Thirteen, twelve, fourteen, thirteen. And I don't think the left rear has updated yet since I lowered the air pressure down, so it should drop a little. Get a close up of the tires. So much they're aired down. You can see, really, especially with like this tire, the side bites that they have on the side walls of the tire. When you air down the tire, how much difference they make as far as traction and protecting the side of the tire. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button down below there. 
you want to see more videos like this, check out my tips and how-to page videos as well. Like my videos, please comment. As always, God bless.